in terms of that strategy of just staying up, just having survival, how does a club change that ethos? What do they have to put in place to ultimately aim higher at a club like West Brom? If if you're in the situation now of, say, someone like a technical director at a club like West Brom, what foundation would you start off with to help? So, improve? so first, first of all, you need to uh, answer a few questions, you know, in the club. Internal question. Yeah, in, in, internal question. And and uh, some questions are also external because you need also to ask the fans what, what does actually success mean? Yeah. You know? And that, that's very individual because uh, I don't know, the supporters, uh, the, the elder elder supporters, maybe they are they are not happy with, with what uh, just staying in the league because they experienced uh, some more uh, success actually uh, 40 years ago. Under Ron Atkinson? Uh, yes, 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 maybe. Or the younger people, you know, they, they are maybe happy to stay in the Premier League. Because they're both watching the yes, lot of Yes, yes. And you have to bring this uh, thinking actually together on one level that everybody can imagine to reach this target, you know. And that's why it's so important to, to get a, a, a huge amount of opinions and, and, uh, and uh, about, about success, you know. Yeah. I think what we've got to do is start looking towards other countries and other clubs and how they've progressed. In Austria, you look at Wolfsburg, they were in the second division not so yes. long ago, and now they're towards the top competing in Europe. So yes, def definitely, good. definitely. So that, that's, that's, that's another question, actually, on my questionnaire, because why you are not looking to other clubs in different countries, you know, in, in foreign countries, uh, who they are, uh, they are uh, uh, have, have, have a strategy and, and uh, being successful in in, in in Europe football, you know, and uh, you, you said it, Wolfsburg is one, one example, but also Salzburg, you know, Salzburg, I know they have Red Bull in the background, they have, they, they have a lot of money, that's for sure, yes, but money, I think, is not bringing the success, you know, because you need to uh, uh, take care and have a strategy and then and spend the right, the, the, the Marias. And, and uh, if you look on, on, on Red Bull Salzburg, they have a, a budget around of uh, 60, 70 million euros, you know, but they constantly producing and developing players and selling them. Uh, and uh, what I said before, they, 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 they uh, got a transfer balance uh, the last four years of 150 million, you know. Wow. So it, it's the transfer balance, you know, they put money out and they yeah. got money in and the balance is, uh, yeah, 150 plus, you know. So, but they, they still compete in, in, in the Champions League and in the Europe League, you know. So there is no, uh, 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 well, how, how, how can I say it? There is no, uh, um, if, if, you, if you look to develop players and sell players, it doesn't mean that you can't be successful, you know. Yeah, on the other end. De definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look at Southampton with their youth setup they had a few years ago. They've had yep. Ward Prowse, Red, like, all these players that have gone on now. Yeah, they've sold on for millions, and they they put that money into developing a better training ground, and even so much as Leicester, we spoke about. Yeah, that's true. But you can build a better training ground, but if you you are not training properly, it doesn't bring a, a, the the best out of it. You know. Yeah. So. One part is a good infrastructure, yeah, that's for sure. But you need to put in the right things, you know. <laughs> yeah. And is that is that having a philosophy of play? Is that having a that that that's one part, yeah. That's one part, the philosophy of play of play, and uh, also the culture in the club, you know. What what we we heard yesterday about uh, Leicester, you know, yeah. the culture is so vital, you know. Yeah. The people need to know what what does it mean to be uh, to supporting Leicester, you know. Uh, and uh, that, that's so vital for the, for, uh, especially for the supporter, that they can they can uh, have a, a great look on the club and say, yeah, I'm I'm very proud to supporting uh, West Bromwich Albion. Was it like that with Wigan? Was there that feeling of togetherness when you're at Wigan? Because you know they had the rival clubs like Bolton, and then a bit further you had Man United. Uh, it, of of course, because uh, Wigan was not. Or that has not uh, the, 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 so, such a big historic uh, yeah. uh, behind the scene, you know, the behind the club. 
so uh, it, it was more vital to, to get a, a, a family yeah. to be successful and succeed in the Premier League. But over, over years, actually, it, it, it went apart, to be honest. And also what, what I missed at Wigan was the vision. What yeah. are the next steps for Wigan? What, what are the, the possibilities and what can we uh, achieve, actually, in the, in the, in the midterm future? And that's why, uh, if, if you look on the, on the statistics, uh, eight years is, 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 is like a, uh, a timeline where uh, the, 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 the clubs are struggling again to fall, yeah. fall apart from what they achieved, actually. It just looked like Burnley could fall Yes, that yes, movement. yes, yes. Also, Burnley now uh, seven or eight, eight seasons in the Premier League and is struggling now yeah. Uh, yeah, to, to stay in the league, to be honest. So... Uh on that, sorry. I was just, how do clubs get away from the short-term panic when they implement a strategy? They go down one route and then a few bad results and they change course and go a different way. How, how does that change or does it change? Yeah, I, I, I think that uh, that's the biggest challenge in football, to be honest, because, uh, uh, you know, uh, when, when you look uh, on, the, on the owners from the football clubs, you know, they are businessmen and not uh, uh, well-known uh, football insiders, to be honest. And, and, and they are just uh, reacting very quick on, on uh, yeah, when you're not, uh, or when, you are, uh, when, when, when you're not successful, you know. So I think uh, one part should be that the communication is, is quite on a good level, you know. Yeah. I think you need to communicate uh, why uh, there is a bad run, why there are not the results at the moment. Uh, and uh, you need to have always the, the look further apart, you know, uh, and, and, and say, yeah, that's, that's just, uh, I think, uh, that's just the first quarter of the season. You don't need to get in a rush, you know, because we know what we're doing and so on and so on. So when, when you say looking at that longer term vision, a club like West Brom, that you've got close ties with, you're aware of the situation at the club now. What potential could West Brom get to with the right leadership? Also, for me, I, I said it before. For me, it's it's absolutely possible to qualify for Europe. Yeah, you know, also at, at least top top half of the table should be possible for a certain period. Actually, uh, of course, you you will have uh, more now and then uh, not so good seasons. But norm, I, I think you, you absolutely can establish in the Premier League and establish in the first half of the table. Well, that point that you've made and what Dan said as well about having a structure in place, but when it doesn't start off, or when it doesn't go well, a club like West Brom has that recurring theme of just change the manager, change the manager. Fire and fire, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yes. You see that in the shift of the paradigm of play. You went from um, Tony Pulis, who was ultra-defensive, to Alan Pardew. They tried to reverse that system to go to Alan Pardew that was ultimately attacking and didn't yeah. really work. And then you fall back to Darren Moore to bring some stability. And then he's replaced by Slavin Bilic, who likes possession. So that's, 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 for me, uh, that's, that's for me another basic decision, you know, Yeah. what you have to make as a, as a club. What playing style, what fil playing philosophy I uh, want to, to, to uh, introduce in my, in my club, actually. Yeah. You can't change 180 degrees every time when it's not uh, running well, actually. Have you ever played at and, a club where they've, where they've changed? Have you ever been involved in a team where the philosophy has changed through the coach so repetitively? Yeah, it, it, constantly. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's, it's every, every time when the coach is uh, changing, then the, the playing style or playing system is changing. Yeah. I think, and, and, and that's for me, is not long term. It's not long term thinking, you know? Yeah. You, you look at clubs like, I think Swansea started it off where the, ma where the manager was dictated by the style of football, like yeah. Rogers yes. and Loudrup. Yes. So it didn't matter yes. who came in. The system still flows. Martinez as well. Martinez. Was and I think that's that's the only chance for chance for 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 a small club uh, to be uh, uh, to to can compete uh, against the biggest club. You know, you need to stay with your playing style and decide. Yeah, I bring in the manager who suits the playing style, not the other way around. Actually, otherwise you're always struggling. You know, because the main problem is then maybe you have not the right players for it. You know. Yeah. 
So every 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 six months when you change the manager, you haven't you haven't the right players, you know. Well, we've saw that West Brom when Billich brought in the likes of Pereira, Di Garner, yeah. because he liked the ball on the floor, passing. Yes. And then Sam Allardyce comes in and wants a big man up front and things. And, and, that's, and that's a big problem for the long-term uh, uh, development, to be honest. Because, but, uh, yeah. He must turn with the technical director in that decision. Yes, definitely. Definitely. And if, if in my opinion, in, if, if the owner are not interacting a lot or are not communicate uh, communicate uh, properly you know yeah. then the people the, the uh, uh, at at uh, at at the club actually they need to get the lead on you know yeah so they need to take the lead and yeah make a proper uh, proper strategy actually